Insiders claim that after allowing rumors of a breakup to fester ahead of her new film, Jennifer Lopez began to show signs of stress and is now attempting to take extra measures to help salvage her marriage to Ben Affleck. In recent months, The Hustler star, 54, and The Argo director, 51, have been dogged by rumors that they may be divorcing, with rumors circulating that Affleck's former girlfriend Jennifer Garner is frantically attempting to keep them together. The pair, who resumed their relationship in 2021, has continued to present a unified face, but this hasn't done much to stop rumors about their marriage's health from spreading. According to sources, Lopez has now acknowledged that her husband suffered because she didn't confront the reports head-on, and the two of them reportedly need to improve their communication. According to a source, Jennifer allowed the breakup rumors to linger while on the press tour for her new film Atlas because it can be a good thing for publicity. However, she is now aware that Ben found that offensive. In fact, rumors of a marital problem took off when it was discovered that Affleck, who has not responded to the reports, had been renting a $100,000 mansion for each month for several weeks without telling anyone. Lopez had even been confiding in Garner, her husband's ex-wife, because of rumors that their union was shaky ground and because they were afraid he may relapse due to stress. After that, Lopez's This Is Me live tour was officially cancelled, according to a statement from Live Nation last week. Lopez said she was taking time off to be with her children, family, and close friends. While he works on his movies, they will be apart, but Jennifer is looking to make extra efforts to be there together during their days off, the person continued. They continued by saying that Lopez wants to return to the way things were when they first fell in love, even though the couple hasn't necessarily fallen out of love. She wants to fall in love with Ben again and go back to what brought them back together in the first place, even though they are in love, they said. She wishes for him to have more confidence in their relationship. They have to work on their communication first and foremost, the person went on. It's untrue that their relationship is suffering because of the way they spend money, despite what some have claimed. It's because they don't communicate well. They continued to make adorable appearances together before going 47 days without being spotted in public, which raised questions about their marriage. The pair put on a rare show of unity last month when they attended Violet, 18, Affleck's daughter, during her graduation celebration at Garner's house. However, pictures showed that they left the party and went directly back to Affleck's rental home, with Lopez leaving almost as soon as they got there with just her assistant. On Sunday, the pair got back together to watch Samuel's basketball game, which was also attended by Garner and his mother Chris. Remarkably, the couple, who appeared especially glum at the graduation celebration, awkwardly planted an air kiss on each other's mouth during the match. Days have passed since the I'm Real singer called off her whole summer tour in order to spend more time with her kids, relatives, and close friends. I am utterly heartbroken and heartbroken for disappointing you, the Hustler's star declared in a statement. Please understand that if I didn't think this was absolutely necessary, I wouldn't do it. I swear, I'll make it right and we'll all be together once more. You all have my undying love. Until the next occasion. According to official seat charts on Ticketmaster from last month, her tour has been plagued by poor ticket sales, with resale sites selling tickets for as cheap as $10 and blocks of seating available at several venues. A source speculated that she may have been overexposed in the past few months, which would explain the seeming lack of enthusiasm for her tour in support of her most recent album, This Is Me. Now, the documentary named The Greatest Love Story Never Told and the musical film This Is Me. Now, a love story was released alongside Lopez's February release of This Is Me. Now, her first album to miss the top 20 came out with the album, which debuted at number 38 on the Billboard chart. The documentary was funded by Affleck and Matt Damon's company Artists Equity, while Lopez paid $20 million for her own film This Is Me, Now, A Love Story. After a while, the tour was rechristened This Is Me. Live, the greatest hits, ostensibly to remind fans that she would be performing the older songs they enjoyed. According to a source at the time, sales increased as a result. The hitmaker did, however, ultimately decide to call off the tour, which raised more questions about the status of her marriage.